Let us get started with the state flow modeling environment to build and simulate decision making systems. There are two components we will use in this example the library browser and the state flow editor. You can open the library browser by clicking the library icon in Simulink. In the state flow block library, there are blocks to model state diagrams, state transition tables, and truth tables. There are two blocks for modeling state diagrams. One uses C syntax and the other uses MATLAB syntax for defining comments and commands. For this demonstration, we will use the C syntax. To build a state diagram, drag the state flow chart block into the Simulink editor. Let us build a state diagram that switches between two states based on the value of an input U. For this demonstration, I added the sine wave and scope blocks from the Simulink block library. Double click on the block to open the state flow editor. In this editor, you build state machines by dragging graphical objects like states and junctions from the graphical palette on the left. In our example, drag the state object and change its name to on. Similarly, create another state object off. The system should transition from state on to off when the value of the input u becomes less than zero. In state flow, you model transitions between states by connecting them with the transition object. This transition should be taken when u is less than zero. Define the condition for transition execution within square brackets. Similarly, draw a transition object from the state off to on, which is active when u is greater than zero. Place a default transition onto the state on to define which state the system should start in. To perform actions in a state, you can type commands in the states directly. In our example, we will send an output of 1 to Simulink when the system enters the state on, and send an output of minus 1 when it enters off. Run the state machine. The symbol wizard identifies variables used in the diagram and suggest their scope based on usage. In our example, since u is only being read from, it is suggested as an input. Similarly, since y is only being written to, it is guessed as an output. I can of course change the scope of these variables if needed. Notice that in the Simulink editor, the chart block now has an input u and an output y. Connect the state flow block with a sine wave and a scope. You are now ready to execute your state machine and visualize its response to the input.